Sports are not so extraneous as a boxer's life, so therefore it's a lot more easier to do. So I'll give you something to think about. You're a person sitting in the office all day long, 9 to 5, comes in, he puts his raw vegan salad in a pack lunch, and you're a boxer who fights, runs his 8 mile runs in the morning, skips, press ups, sit ups. Spars, he sweats, he breaks sweats, and do about three sessions per day. And on top of that, it's vegan. It's quite impossible to live with just greens, green juices alone. It'd be quite impossible. The cravings will make you ill. What I find is I'm lacking something, and sometimes feeling a little weak, because I've gone extreme now into the meat free diet, and I'm, f I'm finding I'm lacking something. If I don't train, it's alright, there's no problem. So, this is living experience. If you want to be a raw veganist, you have to look at your lifestyle and what you actually do for a living. This is a watermelon, which I'm going to have for my breakfast. I eat these quite often. We eat tons of watermelon for breakfast, full of water and full of nutrients. Now, when you box, you need more than just the watermelon. You need loads of carbs, which I do get from bananas. I get from my dates. I go on a train. I come to my second session. I train. I have my avocados, natural fats. I have my um, almond nuts, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, my um, raw cabbage, carrots, raw celery, um, raw spinach, 
and carrots. I eat quite a lot of raw food. I open my oven, sweet potato, boiled, rice. So I get a lot of my carbs from the rice as well. I still crave for that 15% meat in my diet. And that comes mainly in the form of fish. So rolls are usually want to uh, be 100% raw. Have to think about what's making it difficult for you. Because for some people it's easy. And you have to be honest with yourself as to why this diet is difficult for some people. And why it is easier for some people. And my answer is, it all depends on what you do on a daily basis. My, if you came into my life and saw what I did for a daily basis and see my workouts, you find it incredible that I eat what I eat. And I've lost about um, 14 stones now, 14 stones, since my car accident, so that's another factor. I had a car crash in 2009 and I put on about 15 and a half stones. I put on the top of my body weight. 15 stone, 15 and a half stone fight weight, I went to 31 stones, that's quite a lot of weight. So I've now lost 14 stones over four years, um, gradually. So you can imagine the effects of losing the weight, the effect it plays on your appetite, your metabolism, etc. So you can imagine that, losing that weight as well, and you add my boxing training on top of that as well, it makes it extremely difficult. So if you want to lose weight, you want to be a total 100% raw vegan, you can repeat your lifestyle, just look at what you do, and be honest with yourself. Use others as a guide, as a girl. I use um, Victoria Raw Vegan as a guide, and tell you what, and I sort of guide. You have to have that guide to aim for. You must have an aim, you must not aim at nothing, you've got to aim at something to remove me. But the end, the end goal is 100% free meat diet, but your lifestyle comes first. Look at what you do, look at what you burn. I burn more calories in one day in the gym than what these people burn in a month. And that's no exaggeration. So thanks for watching. I'm going to eat this massive watermelon. This, this, this watermelon cost me about £12. English money, that's about 80 US dollars. This is a real beast of melon. So thanks for watching. And this is my explanation for why I can't be 100% free meat free at the moment. Earthly soil, earthly food. Are we getting enough nutrients and enough protein for our for our activities with this healthy vegan diet or raw vegan diet? I'm finding it very difficult to get all the energy I need just from the fruit and the plants. So what I'm finding is when I train very hard, I have to add a touch of fish to my diet. People such as weight trainers and bodybuilders are finding that they have to eat meat and steak and chicken and fish to supplement their needs. So with this raw vegan diet, 
it's what meets your requirements on your needs. I'm going to give you an example. Now, this picture here we have pure coconut, um, virgin coconut, which has been eaten, and you have earth soil, and you have concrete. Now, if the earth was just filled with soil, which is the most natural thing on earth, growing the plants, and there was no concrete, we couldn't have cars, we couldn't get around to transport, have trains or planes, which would be a good thing for the earth in terms of the healthy environment, but not for practicality, for getting around, walking, etc. The world could not run if it was covered with pure soil, but it'd be a lot healthier. So how do you win? And my thing with, with animal eating um, is the ethical value and ethical thoughts and the cruelty of animals eating meat is cruel. But then there's another side to it. We have to eat and we have to live. A good example, you have lions and cheetahs and cats in the wild. They kill, they eat. They don't discriminate, they just eat and choose to survive. They have no choice. Of course, we as humans have a choice, which is why we're human. We have the choice of not um, eating animal products and supporting the industry, which I've done 85%. But I find I need a small amount of meat for my supplement, for my diet. And the thing is, with these raw vegans, there's so much hate towards people who eat meat or people who are trying to eat meat and have failed and can't get it 100%. There's this feeling of hate which I can't stand. And I'll tell you something, I'd rather be myself and be truthful about myself and be liked for who I am than liked for someone who I'm not. So I'm honest and I do eat 15% meat in my diet, especially when training hard and needing the extra stuff in the meat, whatever they put into it. And I am thoughtful. And I do think about animals being killed. That's the main thing in my mind. It's a, on our conscious all the time. Every time we eat anything, we've meeting it. But there are a lot of other things on this planet which are far crueler to animals than humans eating meat. And that's animal testing for things like perfumes, um, chemicals, you know, medicines. They use animals in industry to build, uh, say for instance, clothing, they use sheep wool, they use elephant skin, they use ivory trade, you name it. They kill um, uh, leopards, lions and stuff them. There's so much cruelty around the world, not just animal for eating in our diet. So you've got to think about your requirements and look at this with a very, very open mind. And the main thing is for human survival, but we've got to survive in a very careful manner and think about other other things other animals other living lives and also our planet so i hope you enjoyed this vlog and thank you for watching if anyone on this raw vegan diet can tell me their daily activities and tell me how much do they actually burn in calories on a daily basis just let me know I'd be very interested to know with your comments how many calories you burn a day how hard you work in a gym or, or work etc because this relates with your meat eating progress there are some people who are raw vegans in the, on our planet who are successful and they train and they also can manage the raw vegan diet but like I said you have to put it in actual context and not just talk but get that person to measure at, as to what they're actually doing and what they're burning it's so easy to talk and say well that person's done it oh they're, they're an athlete, they're a weight trainer and they're eating pure raw no, you've got to actually look at them to get them to write down their chart of what they're actually burning how often they're training and then you go from there. That's how you go and that's how you do it. You've got to be honest when dealing with this sort of diet and not be fake. If 
I wasn't boxing, I wasn't training like I do, it'd be a piece of cake. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>